So in HTML code, I'm going to make a new tag called the h1 tag, which is a header. h1 is the biggest header. Let's write home page, command s to save, and let's refresh the website. And you'll notice that the home page lettering is a lot bigger than the regular paragraph text. And I want to show you the h6 tag, which is the smallest tag, smallest header tag, and refresh my page, see how small that is. But you'll notice that the headers are in bold. All right, the next tag I want to show you is the image tag. Now, the image tag is one of the few tags that doesn't need an open and a closed tag. It just needs one tag. The image tag is spelled IMG without the A and the E. Let's write the source because we need to link to an image. We're going to put an equal sign and two quotation marks. Inside the quotation marks, we're going to write media forward slash. Now that media means we're going to look inside of the media folder right here. Now I need to put an image inside of this folder for us to see on the website. I place an image of myself inside the media folder and it's called me.jpg. So in the HTML, I want to write me.jpg. Let's save the HTML page and refresh the website. Now you'll see that the image is really big. So we can make the image smaller. In the tag, let's write height equals quotation marks and let's write in 400 and save it and refresh the page. There we go. Now I also want to write alt text. This is an image of the website maker. You're not going to see this alt text unless the image is missing. Let's say there was a space that was added into the area right here and let's refresh the page. Now we see the text here. This is an image of the website maker, but we don't see the image. So if the file is deleted from the server, this is what the viewer will read. Let's fix that back to the way it was and refresh the page. Now, another reason why this alt text is very important is for ADA compliance for the Americans with the Disability Act, protects people with disabilities from discrimination. So we have to think about people that are blind or deaf when they're viewing content on the internet. So it's always good to add in audio and video and text whenever possible. This alt text right here is going to be read by a computer reader for a blind person. So the blind person won't see this image, but they'll hear what the image is. So if I want to write some text about the image that is shown on the website, let's save that and refresh the page. Notice that that line of text is in line with the image here. If I want that line of text to go down here, I would have to put in a P tag. Go to the end of the sentence and close the P tag. At this point, I'm going to make the HTML a little bit smaller so it's easier to read because we're getting more information in here. Notice that most of the website is inside the body tag. We'll deal with this tag up here when we start working with CSS. This lesson will continue in the next video.